Okay, so our first step is to figure out what kind of sound you need to make, whether you're singing, you're playing an instrument, reading music, reading the notes are all the same. So we're going to talk about the notes or the sound. Now, the way musicians communicate to make sound to let you know what sound they want you to make, we put everything on a staff. It's called a staff. It's five horizontal lines, not a big deal, but all music is based on this. So we have the staff, and these lines all mean a different note. If there is a, a note written on the lower line, it will sound lower than a note written on the higher line. Also, these spaces count as a note too. So here we have a note on the bottom line. Here we have a note on the second line, a note on the third line, fourth line, and fifth line. Here, I'll just continue my staff. Here we have a space note, a note on space one. We have a note on space two. We have a note on space three. And we have a note on space four. So back to the line notes. The reason why I know these are all line notes is because this line is going through the tummy or the center of the note. This is the second line, if we were counting up. This is line one, this is line two, line three, line four, this is line five. So line two, right here, is going through the center of this note. That makes this a line note on line two. Over here, we have space notes because there is no line going through the center of the note or the tummy of the note. Instead, it's sandwiched in between two lines. So we call these spaces. So when you're reading music on a staff, we have five lines. This is lower than this. This is slightly lower than this note. And as we go up, the sounds are just getting higher. That's all there is to it. So the thing that some people get confused about are when there are a lot of different notes going on and when they look different. So back to the line notes. This right here is line note one, line note two, and line note three. Let's take a look at line note three. Right now, I'm coloring in the note, and I'm adding a thing called a stem. That stem has nothing to do with how high or how low a sound is. So this, this right here, this note, is still located on line three. The stem, or the fact that it's colored in, means nothing at all. We always look at the oval to figure out the name of the note. So in, um, in this one right here, for this would be line four, because there's line one, line two, line three, line four. This note, I chose not to color it in. That means something different, but it's how long to hold it out. It has nothing to do with the sound. This note right here is a line four note. And then if we go on to the space notes, the same thing goes along. Here is space one. Here also is a space one note. Over here that I'm drawing right now, a note on space one. It's kind of in between the two, but it's still space one. So your next step is to go through the worksheet that's provided and label the notes as line notes or space notes. If you're ready for a challenge, what you want to do is determine if it's line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, or if it's space one, two, three, four. We always count from the bottom. So I'll show you one more example here. We'll just do it together before you're on your own doing your worksheet. I drew in a note. It's colored in, but it doesn't matter that it's colored in because all we care about is what goes through the tummy of the note or the center of the note. So right here, we would say this is a line note. So ask yourself if it's a line note or a space note. And because there is a line going through the center of the note, through the center of the oval, it is a line note. And then we count the lines, line one, line two, line three. So the answer to this would be L3, or you can 
write out line three. Either one would be correct. Let's try this one. Now this one has no stem. It's not colored in at all, and that doesn't matter. All we care about is the oval. So first ask yourself, is it a line note or is it a space note? Since there's no line going through the tummy of the note, it is a space note. It is space, not space one, not space two, not space three, but this one is space four. So we would put S4, or if you wanted to write it out, space four. Now this one, ask yourself, is it a line note or a space note? Remember, it doesn't matter if it's colored in, it doesn't matter if there's a stem, just pay attention to the oval. Is it a line note or a space note? If you answered space, you're correct. Is it space one, space two, space three, or space four? And the answer, it's the same, space four. So if you were playing that note, it would sound the exact same as the one before. Okay, you're set to go. Go ahead and uh, try your worksheet, and if you have any questions, come back and check out the video again.